Hello everybody, Donkey here, and yes, we are back with some more Train Sim 2021. And uh, <laughs> there's a train going past at the moment. But we are back on the Woodhead Electric Line in BR Blue. And we have two Class 76s at the moment. We have 76009 and 76006. And we'll find out what we're doing in this one. We are double heading today. Um, we're probably taking some freight uh, more than likely if we're double heading. Uh, but we will find out what we're doing when I jump into the cab. But before we do that, I just want to say, if you are a new viewer and you haven't subscribed yet, please do so down below. You won't miss any of my videos if you do. And uh, we'll try and reach that 1000 subscriber mark, hopefully in 2021. All right, let's jump into the cab and find out what we're doing. Okay, so it says, good evening driver. Your last turn for the day is the 6M40 service from Rotherwood, Rotherwood to Fidden. Okay, so it says, good evening driver. Your last turn for the day is the 6M40 service from Rotherwood to Fiddler's Ferry Power Station. As per usual, you'll be dropping the wagons off at Motherham Yard, where a diesel locomotive will take over. Your first task is to couple to the 30 loaded HAA coal wagons in Rotherwood, siding three. Okay, so we are taking some coal wagons by the thing, by the looks of things. Um, let's first change cab because I think they're, yeah, they're down there. So let's change cab quickly. Okay, so we have changed cab and uh, the locomotive is currently set to two leading locomotive, zero banking. Um, and it is set to air brake timings. Goods, yeah, it's set to goods. That's uh, that's what we need. Um, you can press B if you're in the 76 for advanced mode. Failures are possible in advanced mode. And um, the home key will change uh, what banking setting it is. It, it's in, at the moment it's in um, two. Um, two power zero banking um, and page up and down will change the brake settings we're going to leave it as normal so let's get in um, we want to first put this into forward series take the brake off takes about well that was quite quick for the brakes normally takes a bit longer than that look at this train that's going past here parcel train that's really cool 76 parcel train that's really really cool okay so we've got it in forward we've got it in series you can get it there by moving this lever here it's down here this one here or you can press c i just press c on the keyboard and uh let's apply some throttle whoa not too fast <laughs> because we are double heading there's a lot more power that's why it just instantly kicked. We're only in throttle two position, and it instantly kicked up. So there's our wagons, fully loaded coal wagons. We don't want to be coming into here too fast, so we can apply some brake. Didn't want to stop, really, but uh, we want to be coming into it on these wagons at about three mile an hour. This thing kicks up so quickly in um, double heading like this because it's not like a diesel locomotive. This it is. Because it is, you know, overhead line electric, it is just instant power to the motors. Uh, 
Excellent. We'll wait here for a moment while the compressor charges the brakes. And once you get the signal, you may press tab, head towards Motoro Yard. So we've got quite a number of, uh, of wagons here. I imagine we'll have to, yeah, we're going to have to change cams again. So let's just flip this back to off. There we go. Okay, let's switch cams. Okay, we are in the cabs. The compressor is doing its job with the brakes. We want to let's get some uh, lights and stuff. Cab markers. That's a foot warmer. Instruments. Okay. Now the normal procedure for this thing is obviously to check the uh, pantos up and everything and go through all the... And we can cancel some stuff there. Weight transfer. There's a lot of little advanced stuff in this loco that you can do. Um, but yeah, there's like a full, you've got all these errors down here, you know, like line transfer resistance, you know, a lot, you know, a lot can go wrong in advanced mode. You can overload the motors, but are we ready to go yet? That's the question. I think we are. We got a red signal. Not too sure. I think it's this one down here, this white one. I think that means we can go. Oof. Come on. There we go. A bit more power. Come on wheel slipping a little bit. It's heavy. This is heavy. Coal wagons are no joke. Now this would be where you want to be watching your uh, your motor obviously. It's not in advanced mode so we're not going to overload it but in advanced mode you don't want to be overloading it here. Too much power and wheel slip would just be would be bad. Man this is, he this is a heavy load. This is cool though. Let's get a look at this thing. Very cool indeed. Let's try and give it a bit more power. Sure, what this red light is. We're getting going now, though. And we have a green light so we're good to go I'm going via deep car but this is a heavy load it's a bit strange actually um, for an electric overhead loco like this to be hauling such like a heavy load like this I mean you would normally think that this would be the work of a, a diesel locomotive just because they can put down that that torque from the diesel but uh, they're doing the job. They're doing the job, the old 76. 
Now, if you didn't see the last episode, we sort of had a little introduction into the 76. Nice, easy job for it. Um, and that was a really good scenario. If you haven't seen that, it's on the channel. Go check it out. But uh, this is the second scenario for the 76 on the Woodhead Electric line. There's only one more after this. Um, and if you haven't seen the other scenarios on the Woodhead Electric line in BR Blue, I have them all on my channel, so go check them out if you're interested in knowing what's in the DLC. You can pick this up on Steam. I picked it up in a sale, so it was relatively quite cheap. But yeah, if you're wondering what's in this scenario, sorry, what's in the DLC, all the scenarios and whatnot, you can check that out in the, on my channel. Now, if you're in advanced mode, I thought I'd just mention this. If you're in advanced mode and you want to basically go into weak field, I'm not, so I can just literally throttle into it. But if you're in advanced mode, it won't let you. You have to press this little button here and then pull back, and that will allow you to go into weak field. And done. Sure, turn pot is increased the bank power if set up. So I think this is, at the moment, we want... I think that's half. It, it goes something like quarter power, half power, full power. Let's just put it to there. Clear call switch. Turn clockwise to increase banker power. Yeah, I'm not too sure. We can press home, I think. So it's set up in two lead, one banking. Two lead, two banking. I don't want to mess around with that too much. Let's whack it into Wheatfield 4. But this thing is just chugging along. You definitely need to double head with this, like heavy coal wagons. 100%. But we're 10 miles from. Deep car, we've got to go via deep car, so uh, this is a pretty slow journey, I believe. And if we're gonna, if we, if we need to climb as well, it's gonna be difficult. So I will join you back when we are closer to deep car.
Okay, so we're about three mile away, three and a half mile away from a Jeep car. And as you can see, our speed has dropped quite significantly. Um, we are climbing quite a steep incline at the moment. I've had to turn advanced mode on to get the uh, the, incre the uh, banker power. Um, it is what I thought. This this first one is off quarter half and in full. So we are currently in full power. So we are getting full power to match from the second loco. They're both they're both at the same matching power. Um, and I'm not sure what the weight transfer does. We could try it. See if we get a bit more speed. Not much. Nothing really. We are just climbing a steep incline at the moment. Uh, but we are holding a decent 36. It slowly goes up and slowly goes down. So but We are three mile away. Deep car is coming up now. And we'll also check out a lot of stuff for Train Sim World 2. It sounds a bit weird to say that title because there is a Train Sim World 1. There are reports of escaped cows near the line. Interesting. Throwing a bit of a scenario at me here. Escaped cows near on the line. Okay. Are we actually going to see escaped cows on the line? I see something up there, but I don't know if it's cows. We've got a green light regardless. Um, but yeah, Train Sim World 2. We haven't posted a lot of it recently. Mainly because there's... There's not any new stuff for it. There is new stuff for it, but it's more... You know, American, French, German stuff. Uh, I, I, I like the British stuff. The only British pack that was new that came out was the um, was the Isle of Wight uh, line. And uh, I played that a lot. <laughs> I played that a lot. Did videos for it. And... Uh, And yeah, so that that's really the only new pack that came out. All the other packs for Train Sim World 2 are the preserved collection. So the, the, the packs from the original Train Sim World. Um, we did a lot of those beforehand. We did a lot of those packs. And they are on my channel. All the scenarios and whatnot if you want to check them out. Is that them there? We've got a green light. And there's the escaped cows. Oh dear. It's a good thing they didn't get near the near the, on the line. That was a nice little scenario they threw in there. I like I kinda like that. It meant that we had to look out for those cows, but uh But yeah, Train Sim World 2. Um a lot of the packs on there are are the preserved collection. Which we we did the preserved collection for Trains in World. We we checked all those packs out. So if you haven't seen those videos, they're on my channel. Go check it out. Uh, it'll probably be in the Trains in World Two playlist. But yeah, we'll be checking out that game once they release some new English lines, some more British stuff. Definitely be checking that out. Um, and yeah, we've just got the more basic stuff like Euro Truck. We'll continue to do Euro Truck in the new year. I want to try some other games out. They've got a game called GT Legends. Uh, it's a really, really classic racing game. And maybe we can try that out. I mean, I'm not very good at racing, but uh, we'll <laughs> talk about that journey together. Um, I mean, I want to do some more War Thunder if if I unlock some cool, cool stuff for it. And yeah, we'll just see how it goes this year. I definitely want to ramp up though. I definitely want to be doing videos every week. Which is difficult when I've got a full time job, but uh, we'll make it work. But this scenario has been a lot of sitting behind, set the controls and sit back behind the sort of cab, and uh, I haven't really had to mess with anything. 
there's not really been a, a lot of signals to stop at or obstacles. Those cows were a bit of a throw. I, I didn't expect us to be uh, looking out for rogue cows, but uh, there you go. They weren't really a problem, though. But yeah, this scenario has been quite good. I do enjoy the sort of uh, the freight scenarios. I do like it a bit more when there is a lot more to do, but uh, no, I mean, it's been it's been pretty good. It's been pretty good. Right, we're gonna start slowing down now. We're also gonna back off the power a little bit. Buy some more brake. But if you were wondering whether to give this scenario a go or not, I would definitely give it a go. It's actually quite fun. This whole DLC or route, uh, the Woodhead Electric Line in blue, is actually pretty good. I would definitely give it a go if you haven't already. a little bit. Come off that engine brake as well. Double yellow. So we're getting ready to stop. one's red we'll have to stop obviously can't quite see it around that corner we're gonna start to break regardless it's a yellow it's all right and we're just gonna cruise in like this uh where are we actually stopping? Hold on. So we are we're we're on the right line, I think. Oh no, no, we're not. Are we? Engine line, siding one. We've got to go to the siding one, so we do have to actually switch this. By the looks of things. Um. I don't know where to leave it on there or not. Because I don't know if there's another bit of the scenario where we pull into this main line. Then again, it's telling us to go siding one. That's set to siding one now, so we'll just leave that as is. Yeah, yeah it's, it's set now properly. to apply a bit more brake actually. Come on. bit more, come on. We've got to go a bit more, we can't break just yet. Give it a bit more amps. I don't want to blow the motors though, we are in advanced. Ah. 
Great. Okay, attempt number two. We're actually going to save it this time. Okay, so attempt number two. Because last time we stopped too soon. Uh, I didn't think that would be a thing, but uh, it is. We stopped too soon and it failed the scenario, so we need to be stopping in that yellow bar pretty bang on. And I'm going to get it down to 15 mile an hour. The brakes are a little bit weird on this. They don't come off straight away. And they don't come on straight away. So you kind of have to be playing around with the brake a little bit. Because it just take a while to come off and on. For instance, right now. The brakes aren't fully off. I'm trying my hardest. We might have to give it some amps. keep it going come on we don't want to stop too soon right I think the brakes are fully off let's try not to stop too soon this time <laughs> or overshoot that is another thing we could possibly end up doing Ooh. the class 76 is, a, is a definitely an interesting one when it comes to braking and stuff I've heard people say that the brakes are quite an interesting mechanic and we're going to try I think it's okay if we get past this Alright, we're going to start putting some brake on here. Hopefully that's good enough. Obviously we don't want to overshoot the siding. Oh, I think we're actually in there. I think we're actually in. Very good. I think that's alright. Let's come to a stop. get a sort of stopped and ready we can apply the handbrake so we're not going anywhere let's get that to off there we go we're not going anywhere now scenario complete there we go so no, we can't get rid of that. But if you enjoyed, I'd appreciate a like. If you're a new viewer and you haven't subscribed yet, please do so down below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.